Thanks, Coach. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Today, it's a Week 9 matchup set to go here between the Chicago Bears and the Philadelphia Eagles. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. second down now the last time these two teams met boy was it memorable wild card weekend last year as the eagles started their super bowl title defense and they held on thanks to the doink or the double doink heard around the world on the cody parkey missed field goal and the eagles would escape 16 to 15 of course they would go on to lose the following weekend to the new orleans saints on third down trubisky and Robinson with a big catch. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. This is caught by Robinson. The numbers in last week's ball game for Robinson. Five catches, 65 yards. You think the head coach and the offensive coordinator are able to pull the earplugs out now? Because all week, all they heard was, you know, coach, they can't guard the pass at all. I mean, they're next to last in the league. Let's throw it on every down. <laughs> yeah, last week we saw the numbers. This week going against second to last in the pass defense area. Good for him. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky finding Gabriel complete. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 34-yard line. Nice job keeping that opening drive alive. And they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them. And now, I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone. Because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. It makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. Now he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And this is Gabriel on the catch. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 13-yard line. Trubisky will come up here first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And they'll have the football, but deep in their own territory as he's brought down at the five. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception throw. And that last one, that hurts. Oh, the jet sweep to start the drive. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Ha-ha, Clinton Dix there for the stop. On second and seven, Wentz. And the reception made by Alshon Jeffrey. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. 23 yards the pick up there. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. From the gun, it's Wentz. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so... When they were...
got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. Yeah, I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Now Wentz on third down. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Khalil Mack. And that will force a turnover on downs. Well, that, my friend, I guess is the definition of a head scratcher. Fourth and long, this stage of the game, what were they doing? I just have to believe that he, he looked at the situation, still in the first half, decided if there was a time to be aggressive, now was it, because there's still time to make up for it if things don't go right. Of course, a lot of questions on this one, and look, I want to go for it as much as anyone, but fourth and long? Yeah, I don't think I would have there. That one seemed a little bit on the irrational side. Fans might be a little angry at that one. Well, good field position to start the drive, but under the gun now here on third and eight. From the shotgun is Trubisky. He's got Burton here. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Tory Cohen, and they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft, and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Draw play here, Trubisky gives to Cohen, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. A nice run there as he picks up six. It's going to be third and goal now. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Now Trubisky lost the football. A plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because... This is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. In the end, the opening drive, Charles does yield points. Maybe not the touchdown that they wanted, though. Yeah, but bottom line, they wanted to get something out of that drive, and they did that. Three points, they won't turn that down at all. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held them to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what happened. I think that factored in. I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. On first and ten, here's Wentz. Buying time to his left. He'll get ten there all on his own, but it'll be second down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know, there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And finally, wrestled down at the 11. 23 yards on the play. 
those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man in the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Wentz will try again on second down. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Marquise Goodwin, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles have taken the lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic, but usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. The tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever, there it results in a touchdown. Elliott Good with a PAT, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. This one taken from the seven. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. This is Cohen, and he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Throwing here, Trubisky. Gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he's going to be taken down at the 39, clearly short of the first by a few yards. So much about offense is what we call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there limiting that and keeping it from the first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. A good return there, 17 yards. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked. But you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Now wins. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Wentz can pull it down when he needs to, and the 6'5 quarterback picks up the first down. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, three, the score on EA Sports. To throw once more on second and ten. Wentz, that catch good for five. It's third down. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Shotgun now for Wentz. This is caught by Jackson. And he's got the first down before being taken down at the 46. Coming into the week, he's the NFL's leader in receiving yards. There's his first catch, and it's good for a first down. Wentz now 6 of 10 of this first half. He's got his guys a first down here. There goes a deep ball in zone. And that is intercepted by the all-pro safety, Eddie Jackson. Unfortunately for him, if last week was any indication, we knew a pick was coming at some point. Last week it was interception after interception, and here we go again. We actually quit counting last week at a certain point because I thought I was going to run out of fingers, right? Because I'm not all that skilled as a mathematician. But you're right. It felt like a matter of time, and you've got to think the guys on defense, they couldn't wait for this opportunity after what they saw on tape. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. 
Trubisky gives to Cohen. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. It's a seven-yard gain there, and it's good enough to move the chains. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Back to the ground, this time Montgomery. Brought down by Nate Gary. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. The Bears on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and eight. Now it's Trubisky. The catch made by Miller. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 25 yards that time. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. First down, a run with Cohen. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. On second down, it's Cohen. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Right down. zone now. They'll look to throw. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. After the incompletion, here's second and ten for the 20. Now Trubisky to throw. That's caught by Montgomery. Montgomery a first down and then some. The Bears on the move. They've got another first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Second down and goal. Trubisky, and he's going to be swallowed up and taken down. Sacked back at the five-yard line. Nigel Bradham flying in and laying the lumber defensively. This has been a long drive. you got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Now Trubisky toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Another good drive, Charles, but it looks like another that might end in a field goal try. They've made some nice plays. They've given themselves opportunities, but as you noted, another field goal attempt coming up. And that's not how they want to end drives. They've got to figure out what's the final touch that they need to push it across the goal line. Yeah, still yet to find the end zone. A dozen plays on that drive that ends with the field goal. Let's go ahead and break out some of the old chestnuts here, right, partner? Keep the ball in front, rally to it, and make the tackle. Right? No big plays given up. No balls over your head. Bend, don't break. Hold on, hold on. Chestnuts? Ah, you like Come that on. one? What does that mean, break out? The, just because you break chestnuts? I, I, I'm not sure about that, but I'm just going with why they said that. I have no idea. Trying to shake off the interception for the last drive. He'll look to throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Akeem Hicks able to record his fifth sack of the season. You never want to give up a sack. And from the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride. When they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean, they want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. To throw, it's Wentz. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. And they work this well upfield across the 45. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. Wentz now on first down. Caught by the tight end Ertz. 
And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Ten yards there and an eagle first down. So in the Bear territory now, this is first and ten at the 44-yard line. Now a play fake. Lance. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Carson Wentz with two first-half touchdown passes. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Elliott now to add the extra point. It's up. It's good. Our score, 14-6. to six. So this drive spans seven plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is taken to the 13. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'll move you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post, that's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that would help him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Too bad. I don't know about that. Bad. <laughs> Super tough. <laughs> On second and 11 now, Trubisky. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Malik Jackson, the 6'5 D tackle with a sack. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. Now Trubisky on third and long. This is intercepted. Picked off by Ray Parks. And they'll set up shock right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Well, it's third and long, and you've got a few different ways to play it offensively. But this is not the type of offense that's going to wave the white flag. They're going to keep chucking it. And this time, it results in an interception. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. To throw his wins. It's caught by Jackson. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A gain there of 30 big ones. Wins now. Closing in on a 200-yard first half through the air. It's first and 10. Wentz going to throw. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. From the 21, it's second and 10. It's a second down run with Sanders. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown. Philadelphia. Miles Sanders, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Well, pardon me, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead is up to 15 now. A drive there, just four plays, and it was Miles Sanders who finished it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be taken about the 12. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. 
We remind you that coming up later tonight, we've got a good AFC battle in Baltimore. The Super Bowl champs, New England, in town to take on the Ravens. And then tomorrow, Monday Night Football, the Cowboys and the Giants from MetLife Stadium to wrap up this first weekend in November. Quick throw here caught by Gabriel. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. On second down now, it's Cohen. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The Bears on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to run for it with Cohen. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll mean a call to the punt team as it's fourth down. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. Carson Wentz and the Eagles make their way out to the field. And he's looked pretty good. Does have the one interception, but two touchdown passes so far. Your analysis. They'll take the offset. When you're talking about throwing two touchdown passes, no one wants to see an interception thrown. But those things happen in the course of a ball game and over the course of the season. But throwing two touchdown passes... That's why the team has an advantage. That's what they're looking for more of. They'll be hoping to make it a 3-1 to one ratio here in the second quarter. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Wentz on the draw, leads it for Sanders. The former giant, Prince of Ukamara, on the stop. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. On the draw, here's Sanders. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It's a pickup of three, but it brings up what will be an interesting fourth and one. Feeling like they're not quite in field goal range yet. They're going to go for it on four. Aguilar has it. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. A gain of 26 and a conversion there as well on fourth down. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. Into the red zone, wins. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he's taken down at the seven after a gain of seven. Now here's a timeout as they're going to get it with eight seconds remaining here in the first half. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Now wins. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Three touchdown passes now for Carson Wentz. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Elliott on for the extra point. He's got it and the lead swells. It's 28-6. to 6. 
So that drive goes a full 80 yards in 10 plays. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. So we reach halftime. What... All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. at the line this Philly offense set to go they built a good first half lead now they have a chance to add on to it and what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half nice first half that we've had guys but be prepared for some change ups we're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? It looks like they're ready to go. And Jeffrey's got it. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That'll put him at 66 receiving yards now for the game, and he's got a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before, they always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame, get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Throwing his wins. Flush to his right. And that's complete to Jeffrey. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 30. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up the throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He's able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Play action. Now Wentz. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. So the youngster able to use the legs to pick up the first. And one of my pet peeves when they see this guy play, when Carson Wentz takes off running the football, I always hear people go, oh, he's sneaky up. And Sanders has it poked free. And this is picked up by the Bears. Through an opening, and there he goes. He's at the 40, 20, 10. And he will fight his way in, not giving up there, and he's got a Bears touchdown. So hold the phone here, Charles. I've kind of written them off, but after that touchdown, certainly a long way still to go, but stranger things have happened. Well, when you're going to have big second-half comebacks, plays like that have to be involved. Throwing here, Trubisky, and he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This will be taken about the 12. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They're right back out there after watching the fumble go the other way. Still in control of this game, but that needs to serve as a wake-up call because they're not in the clear yet. Now, if the message should be clear, the fortunes can change pretty quickly when you turn the ball over. You've got to take care of it, otherwise that lead could slip away quickly. A good pick up there, 26 yards. This quarterback now over 300 yards now for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. Yeah. 
What a catch and one-handed, and I'm starting to lose my awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? How much of it is the glove? And those gloves, they do have a little grip to them. They're getting that little extra tackiness to them now, and I know the guys in the NFL, the competition committee, some other places, they're talking about examining those gloves to see if they're having too much of an effect on the game. And his throw intercepted by the all-pro corner, Kyle Fuller. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. J.J. Ortega-Whiteside, the intended receiver. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's something out there. There's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. 30, 10, Touchdown, Chicago! Tariq Cohen, 79 yards, as his guys are back within a single score. That halftime lead, dwindling. I love the way you just said that. Perfectly encapsulates what we're seeing right here. Strike after strike, making the big comeback, and right now they are putting the pressure on them in a huge way. Second touchdown of the half, and that one was a big one. This one taken from the 7. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, it does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. So the field flips here as they'll go to work at the 20 now on first and 10. Now a carry for Sanders. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. Now wins. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Carson Wentz with touchdown pass number four on the afternoon. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Elliott good with a PAT. And a lead now up to 14. The drive there only spanning three plays. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minute. Who knows? Let's see what they decide to do. A Chicago first down there on a gain of 11. Trubisky now 13 out of 17 throwing the ball. He's got a first down. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Mark that down as a pickup of 13. And the Bears have the first. On first down. Cohen. Touchdown, Chicago. Tariq Cohen. His second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are back within a single score. Well, he just bumped up his personal stats with a second score, but they still have some ground to make up. 
not terrific for today because of what you just said. They're still down on the scoreboard. But later in the year, when he piles it all up and starts to think about contract time, that's a pretty good deal for him. And I know darn well that you've got him in fantasy football, don't you? I don't. You always think I'm, you th you know, I always think I just that. appreciate that you think I'm smart enough to have him in fantasy. No, well, you are. Thanks. offense set to begin their next drive and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. So one play and they're already just shy of midfield. Now wins. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Khalil Mack in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Here's Wentz to throw. And that is intercepted by the all-pro safety, Eddie Jackson. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. This defense figured out something in the locker room. That's two third-quarter picks now. And you just wonder, did he get too comfortable in the locker room himself? His team has the lead. Take care of the football. He's putting him in jeopardy right now. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. Trying to get it to Tariq Cohen out of the backfield. But it's going to be second down. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. On third down, Trubisky. And that is incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And a little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin him back. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Khalil Mack, he's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Throwing now is Wentz. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And that's not nearly going to be enough. Stopped at the 22, and he needed plenty more. Here's Cameron Johnston now as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he gets this away. Look at this. This is a good one. This is taken at about the 14. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And the Bears take over. Tariq Cohen and the rest of the offense heading back out there. He has a chance to hit that often elusive 200-yard mark on this drive. And most of the time during a game, people aren't keeping track of individual statistics. Are you sure? Well, a lot of the runners kind of know. But I'll guarantee you, someone has sent word into the offensive line that he's got a chance to get over 200 on this drive. That should give them a little extra motivation because they love it when backs break that barrier. Absolutely. We'll see if he can do it. Draw play. Cohen. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And they will finally get him, but not until he's all the way down inside the 15-yard line. I tell you, Brandon, it seems like this guy's been all over the field so far. That's his second interception of the game. And so much of playing defense in the NFL, especially when it comes to defending the pass, is 
goes off the... And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Danny Trevathan. Past the 10 to the 11-yard line. And that's where the return stops. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 11. Now Trubisky to Cohen out of the backfield. And he'll get it up to the 12-yard line here. Call it a one-yard gain of the play. And it'll be second down. They only got a yard out of that last completion. And that makes this second and nine. Now they'll run it with Cohen. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Yes, indeed. That play there, that reminds me of some of the guys that I played with to have that suddenness, able to get into the backfield almost about the time the ball snapped and make a play. How about that tackle for a loss? Yeah, absolutely. He did a lot of that last week when he was named the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. One of the guys on the team was saying, hey, yeah, we called him the disruptor. And that's carrying forward again. Makes sense, doesn't it? So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. So here are the Eagles to take over. They've dropped five straight coming in. So right now cherishing this lead. And they've got the football as well, first and ten. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking for Miles Sanders out of the backfield. And that'll bring up second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Wins on the give to Sanders. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Khalil Mack make that now eight sacks for him on the season. Here's Cameron Johnston now as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. As we've got the final quarter upon us, we get ready to start the fourth. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. You need to get the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you just hold a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. Here's a run on first down that doesn't accomplish anything. In fact, he's going to be tackled behind the line for a loss of one. They'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Now a first carry for their fullback. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. He's going to dump that off to his running back, Cohen. And he is going to be stopped at the 12, short of the first down. Six yards on the pickup, and that's going to make it fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks, don't let them get there, and they rallied and made the tackle. With it is Jackson. So a change of possession here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. Let's shift now and discuss Deshaun Jackson. So far, he has the trio of touchdowns. Obviously, it's been a pretty good game for him. So if this were hockey, they'd be throwing their hats out on the ice for the hat. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Eddie Goldman with a sack. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. The Eagles on third down. They're hitting at 60%, 6 out of 10 thus far. This will be third and 15. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, 
really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. That will go as a punt of 42-7 on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes and saw that puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep him warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now from all the work he's getting. And the first play of the drive there is incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Here's Trubisky. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. And they try to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Now Trubisky to throw. stop after the ball hit the ground. I'm giving him some credit. Well, I'm thinking about the mental focus, you know. Yeah. Well, the mental focus. Yeah, yeah. that's got to stay with it. That's true. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that one hits a little too close to the goal You're line, right. and it continues into the end zone for a touchback. Deshaun Jackson getting set to go again on offense. Let's see here, Charles. Six catches, over 100 yards. Oh, that a pretty good day. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. Khalil Mack in there to get him. And on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a uh, no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high, the tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it. Now Wentz on the bootleg. It's brought in by Jeffrey. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. <laughs> On first and ten, here's Wentz. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. Wentz will try again on second down. Completes it to Aguilar. And they move this all the way down to the nine. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Defense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. They'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Play fake to Sanders. Now here's Wentz. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. But now it's third and goal. Oh, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? And his throw intercepted by the all-pro corner, Kyle Fuller. Interception woes, they just continue to mount. He's thrown five picks. At this point, you got to be thinking, is it something between the ears? I think a confidence hit does occur once you start getting those numbers up there a little bit. But as you and I both know, it's not always just one guy's fault. Maybe somebody ran a wrong pattern. Maybe some balls were tipped. It could be so many different things. Bottom line, though, it comes back to the guy throwing it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Anthony Miller there. And that'll bring up second down. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Trubisky will throw. Completes it to Miller. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 
Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. From the shotgun is Trubisky. He's got Burton here. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. A good pick up there, 22. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. This one into the hands of Burton. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the linebacker, Nigel Brattle. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They get the crucial turnover just huge, but now they've got the football deep in their own territory, and you've got to be careful because if you give it right back, there goes your lead. They have to be extremely happy with their defense. They received a gift, that takeaway. Even though they're deep in their own territory, now they have the football. And you know there's always that alpha on defense, that grouchy guy. Forget what the coaches said. I'll guarantee you, he told the quarterback, we just took care of you, now you take care of us. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Brandon, it looked like he had his hands on it for a moment, but let, let's face it, that was going to be a tough catch all the way because of the presence of the defense right there as he was trying to haul it in. Yeah, nice job. Now a loose football. The ball comes out, and this is picked up by the Bears. And they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. Trubisky leaves with Montgomery on the draw. He was brought down by Kamu Grugier Hill. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Well, they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. The last catch nearly got him a first, but it did not, and they'll try to convert on third and inches. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. On first and ten, it's Trubisky. And he's going to go down here, a sack. They push him back to the 34. Brandon Graham racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now it's Trubisky. And a quick throw here, that's complete. The catch and run there, good for 16 in the first. I think the good offensive coordinators of the league now are looking at the fullback position and finding the right guys to hide in that spot and increase their passing game, as we just saw there. How about the run after catch? Racked it. Well, yeah, whether it's a true fullback, a tight end, you put in the fullback spot, you know they're going to be tough to bring down if you can get them the football in the passing game. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Montgomery back to the ground. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. Here's Trubisky to throw. And he finds Montgomery complete. That was the eighth play of the drive, so a somewhat fitting pickup of eight yards. A short game that doesn't get them the first down brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. They'll try and run for it. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven-yard line. Able to convert on fourth to bring up first and goal. That's a big three yards right there. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Able to find Shaheen here. 
He'll be ridden out of bounds. Didn't even come close to sniffing the end zone. Only a yard in the completion. It's second and goal. To throw again on second down. Trubisky looking end zone, but it's incomplete. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. But now it's third and goal. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No pick, just incomplete that time. Throwing here, Trubisky. And this is going to be intercepted. Good positioning, and it's picked off. He's got the lane, and there he goes. The 30. 10. And he'll score. Touchdown. So from one end zone all the way to the other, talk about a turnaround. And how about the excitement that that play generates for his team? Not just the points on the board, but the momentum and taking it from coast to coast, end zone to end zone. What a tremendous play. Now get that man an oxygen tent. <laughs> That's your boy Old Mo. You said momentum, right? Old Mo, he, I think he's got limping across at the end because of that distance, but he made it. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception. Navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. This will be fielded at the eighth. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in. And a loose football. And it's picked up by the Eagles. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one, that puts it up. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, man, because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All came long. They've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis is symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> now it's Trubisky. He's got his tight end, Burton. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. A gain there of 12 yards and a first down for the Bears. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Bears with the football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now Trubisky, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky. This one out left to the tight end, Burton. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll set up to throw. And Robinson with a big catch. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 17-yard line. Here's Trubisky. And he's going to go down. He's sacked back into 24. Fletcher Cox, the former Mississippi State Bulldog, ringing the cowbell there on the sack. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. Now Trubisky to throw, and this is going to be incomplete. By the way, i got to apologize, because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary here. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. Now 
the Bears going to call the first of their timeout as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Another run with Sanders, and he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. Working from the gun, Lentz. He's going to fire one deep over the middle and unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. Here's Cameron Johnston now. He's been terrific so far. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. Taken from just outside the 30. A 41-yard punt, 9 on the return. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. The Bears in good field position to start out first and 10 at the 40. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to let it fly. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. 